Hi everyone, I'm Ari, and today Doug Doug made the mistake of letting his Twitch chat create their own D&D campaign. If this sounds like it's a mistake, it's because you've seen any single content piece that Doug Doug has ever made. Especially those involving Twitch chat, because they are always absolutely batshit insane. And I am one really looking forward to this because it's going to be passion insane also i'm terrified because it's probably going to be slightly psychotic and by psychotic i mean a reflection of the general state of anyone on the internet being something of an amoral psychopath and also probably going to spam fart noises because that just seems to happen a ton honestly i'm kind of here for this does that make me insane probably i'm not gonna think too hard about it though you guys know the deal there's a link below to the original video let's Let's see just how crazy Twitch chat can get making their own D&D &D campaign with Doug Doug as a let's go with moderating influence. This is the new Dominate intro. Your foes with the all new Doug Doug Mug Mug. It's brand new from Oh my god, the 90s are so strong with this one. I am both repulsed and kind of excited to see it again. I don't know which one I feel more though. Toys, the least Please tell me it's ever with a giant top of ultimate spilling action. This mug hole is huge. It holds up to 32 liters of fluid to crush. Is it actually engineered to be literally indestructible? As long as you don't do anything with it. And thousands of liquid combinations to choose from. Ironically, if you had specially designed liquids, and by specially designed, I mean marketed design, to sell into a specific mug, that's actually not a bad brand deal. Stupid, but not the dumbest thing I've seen. Yeah! Doug Doug Mug Mug, available now at DougDug.shop. Is that a plus shipping pepper or something anyways? For or this is not a joke? Wait, After it's not? the huge success of my Dungeons & Dragons campaign with Twitch chat that I... It was fun, and honestly, less psychotic than I thought, although... Not by much. Put a ton of time and effort into. I decided to do the exact opposite of that and what? create the worst D and D campaign that I possibly could by making. Oh, trust me. Wait, his hair looks very blonde now. What the hell happened? Making up literally everything on the spot and drawing it horribly in Photoshop, then having Twitch chat control the characters and try to beat the campaign. This I feel called out because his horribly drawn in Photoshop is still better than me actually trying. Uh, that's that's not supposed to be a call out, but it kind of is. Yeah. This is total improv D and D. And to start this off, we'll need to create three different characters for Twitch chat to play. Maybe we pick a class first, and then we decide from there. People are saying oh. chef, bard, otter, and dwarf are like the race, right? Please, please pick otter. I don't know what the hell it would be, but it's gonna be stupid, and I want that short buff man. <laughs> it's not a dwarf. It's just a short buff man. <laughs> Okay, so I guess chef. There's like big poof poofs, right? Like this. What is it? Is it an otter? Is it a dwarf? Is it something else? What is else? that? Somebody just like said a American. Just like an American <laughs> dude. Gobble. Isn't that just a gunslinger? What? It's a frying pan? Like it's a chef frying pan? It's a bee. I mean, sure. A pepper. What about a rat? Oh, a rat would actually be pretty good for ratatouille. All right. Any of these jump out. Oh, yeah. Chef, what rat. It is. That makes it's sense. like we are torn between him frying being a pan frying is winning. pan or a rat. <laughs> okay. He is going to be a frying pan. Chef. <laughs> can one of the characters just be a bear? Like a normal confused bear. <laughs> there's just that would no be context hilarious, actually. for why there's a confused bear with them. Okay, does that... Okay, all joking aside, his improv art is actually not bad. Huh. Look like a chef frying pan to you guys. This would be Kinda? the character. Yeah. Keep a frying pan, hey guys, and a bacon smile. It needs a mustache. It's a chef after all. Oh, ho, ho. Looks like the Pringles guy. <laughs> it doesn't look like... A mustache. It looks like he's already starting to fry the bacon. And the eyes look like eggs. I just realized that's... Please, if that's not intentional, I'd be surprised. Looks, yeah. like, a, looks like a frying Issues. pan. Yeah! Can we name the chef Jeff? We need to give frying Jeff. pan a name. We With will give him a name, yes. In fact, let's do that now. Jeff, a lot of people seem excited Jeff. about. Gerald. <laughs> Pringle. I don't think he looks... <laughs> oh, I mean shit. Yeah. I see. It's the lines of the mustache, yeah. Into... Pringle, Egg the Bert. chef frying pan. No so copyright issues here, is guys. Chef, move one. He can deal fire damage and heal allies. Okay, fireball. Yeah. Just, like, burn people's hands. <laughs> it's not like he does a lot of damage. He just like gives people burns, like uncomfortable burns on their hands. He could like cook. Having done that before, that's actually quite noticeable. I used to work in a bakery style setting, in a Taco Bell. Don't ask. It was weird. And yeah, burning your hands sucks. 
yeah, cook eggs. It'll just be let him cook. Is the oh my god, yes. What that means. Please yeah, okay. choose that let one. Cook. Okay, they all had the right idea. Move. We'll give him two moves. He can cook see. a meal once a day and heal all allies slash status. That is powerful. Food for allies. Pansexual. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Green. I think they need to save that one for the bard. Because it makes it a lot funnier considering an actual pan ally. And also so much worse at the same time. Grease fire. I do like grease fire as an attack. And sexual sedu- I guess, okay, so the oh my God. pride could be seduce an enemy. Oh, that's a good one. Scramble. Swap places with another character. Okay, we'll do- uh, That actually sounds scramble. really powerful. Pansexual pride and scramble. Really quick, we're gonna write down a few personality traits that you can try to adhere to. So basically, they've made a bard chef whose magic comes from cooking and also then seducing the people they feed. Oh, this can't possibly go wrong. I mean, it involves a bard. What could possibly ever happen that wouldn't be allowed on Twitch or YouTube? Two, ready, set, go. Very hot. Hot? Oh, very spicy. Like a spicy personality. That's good. He's no, French. I don't think that's what they meant. Okay. Hot, oh, strong, hot. and sweet. Very sweet? food critic. Really? I think we got our character. He's like a very snooty food critic. Welcome. Egbert. So, he's a standard food critic. I know what I said, and I stand by it. No, it's not his name. Pringle! Welcome, Pringle, Pringle to the party. Suggestions for character oh number two. What do you got? Chair character. I don't want to do another inanimate object. I guess we can I make think it they a have a... Uh, <laughs> yes, could be a bear. A pan in the the bear. Chair. That's fucking stupid. A swarm of bees, a car, a wizard, a lich, a pigeon, an anarchist. But they already had a pigeon up there. A cleric, a druid, an oni, and a chair. A couple of druids, actually. Stupid. Bear. Okay, a lot of people have talked about yes. bear. Okay, yes. Yes. Caveman. Okay, window? <laughs> Guys. Window. You're too set on inanimate objects, I think. I think Go bear for bear. is more interesting bear. than chair, personally. We could add he has Bear's a winning. move where he transforms into a chair. <laughs> I don't know why he would do that. Okay. Please, please make him a wrestler now, and the move is called give him the chair. Is it a dumb joke? Yes. Yes, it is. Have I watched way too much of Super Eye Patch's videos about wrestling to make that thing I would actually like to see? No, because I don't imply too much, and that's not the case. I I can stop whatever I want. It, it's not a problem. I, I look it off my back, Mom. I mean, whatever. Uh, what? I just said nothing. Okay, but if that's one of his moves, the chair doesn't do anything. Wild shape. <laughs> the bear will be a druid. Okay, I will now draw Wouldn't that be a domestic shape, bear. then? Watch greatness. Oh, shit. Here, it's okay? actually don't not bad. Don't too much about the bear's anatomy. This bear is amazing. Like, unironically... It it's actually kind of good. I'm going quick here, okay? Don't worry. It's like it's derpy, but also consistent enough in the derp, like the backward leg, that it kind of works. It looks like a bear, a really derpy bear. But if I saw this, I would think, oh, that's their art style, not, oh, they can't draw. I mean, I might be wrong, and he also can't draw, but it looks actually pretty decent too much about the bear's anatomy this bear is amazing absolutely yeah. beautiful this bear unironically really it once really isn't bad full of brown you missed a leg incredible i think that's a lion with dysmorphia <laughs> he's a beautiful bear we need a name for him garfield bear berry <laughs> these are not very good names please be Egg. garfield <laughs> there's one guy who said polio so i'll throw that in okay it why looks like we need some egg moves is winning. for our bear i druid. love eggs so damn much so move number one is <laughs> do cocaine <laughs> what was the other one is like shape shift into a chair right? Of course. I'm not even sure if he gets the reference of do cocaine, because this is actually a reference, one, to the movie Cocaine Bear, and two, to the fact that that movie is based on real events because that happened. I'm not the incredible murder crazed overhaul that that movie was, but drug smugglers dropped cocaine and a freaking bear in the woods ate it and got, well, you can kind of guess how that goes, because that is actually something that happened in reality. Oh, dear God. It has to be a barbarian. A bear-barian. I'll see myself out.
right? People are saying the third move is polio. That's just a disease. <laughs> like, what does this mean? Okay, so he uses the move and then he just gets polio? <laughs> so so he just stops he moving? He to do cocaine, turn into a chair, and get polio. Okay, what is the other personality There's a joke in there, but I'm not gonna make be, it. like, confused. Has polio. That's not a personality trait. <laughs> Why? <laughs> honey. I, I guess he eh, hates I guess it's the old-fashioned ones. Okay, sure. Use small egg, words. Who hates eggs. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to introduce. Character He's number wise. two. Egg of the confused drug addict bear. Druid. What class is player number three? Bear like Barbarian. Or monk or something. Lawyer is funny. Why? Pregnant, Pregnant is not a class. <laughs> no. Bounty hunter. Bounty hunter could actually be pretty good. I mean, having seen family members in a similar situation, I think mean, pregnant, barbarian, it's really no difference. It's just one is more likely to kill you and the other one's a bear. Arsonist. <laughs> okay, well, what, did any of these jump out? Single mom is not really a class. <laughs> yeah, call it Karen. Polio or poliomyelitis is a disabling and life-threatening disease caused by the <laughs> oh, polio virus. It's basically a fancy paralysis Wait, hold spell. hold on. So polio will paralyze the bear. The other move that, that he just has be a chair? is to turn into a chair, which basically paralyzes him. <laughs> Two of us are just paralyzing him himself. And the other's doing cocaine. Egg sucks. We voted that our third character is an arsonist. Which oh, is no. With our bear. The bear gives polio does he give polio or does he just get polio everybody gets polio is that polio for like, everybody hey, get down i'm about to polio Would that kind of mass paralyzation just, like, booms like a mushroom and spreads polio spores everywhere or however polio spreads babe i'm gonna polio okay we have an arsonist what is it goblin oh my god this is horrible it's fine chicken. pyro from tf2 okay that actually kind of works yeah really a demon oh, yeah it could just be like a hell demon yeah a that's tree. pretty straightforward <laughs> So stupid. An arsonist Snowman? tree. Wouldn't even know that guy. Just a normal guy. Is his name Jeff? Missouri. If it's just a random dude, why is he an arsonist? The joke of him being a normal guy doesn't really. I mean, he's a normal guy from Missouri. I I got family there. And I know better than to finish any of the things I wanted to say because they may or may not have someone forward this video to them, and I would definitely hear about it, I value things like continued breathing, so I will not say anything that I was thinking, because that would be bad for a continued survival, and I definitely wouldn't do that. If you're watching, I said nothing, and I definitely didn't have to edit anything out. ...work with him being an arsonist, you know what I mean? Isakai main character. Oh, <laughs> so God. isakai into this world. I mean, you don't have to draw the face, then. Arsonist. It looks just like it's gonna hair. be just a guy from Missouri. But if he's just normal, there's no, like, personality. His personality is that he wants to get back to Missouri. <laughs> okay, fine. See, that's just completely unfair. Nobody actually wants to get back to Missouri. Fine. A normal guy from Missouri. It's called Missouri for a reason. Guy from Missouri. Oh, no. Let them have teeth. <laughs> okay. Can he be in the shape of Missouri? <laughs> Can we just agree that this guy looks like he's getting a mugshot for arson already? I mean, look at this guy. It's either arson or he's going to be hitting up the bear pretty fast. But he's a normal guy. He's perfect. <laughs> this guy sucks. We do need, though, a name. A lot of excitement. Oh, dear God. He actually just created the, this is fine, dude. I need to draw this. I mean, I'm not going to actually draw it, but let's see if I can just pull this up. The this is fine old man. Where would he be? Ah, oh, yep. Here we go. Yeah. I, I, I'm not the only one seeing that, right? It's the same guy, just slightly younger and with the same amount of hair. Oh, oh my. Was not expecting that one. A lot of excitement for Bob. E Sorry. That's too confusing. Misery. I won't be able to differentiate between the two. Mr. Zuri. <laughs> Misery. <laughs> yes. <Point> pro. <laughs> and honestly, the. Name him pro. Douglas Douglas. Well, hold on. <laughs> that guy doesn't look like. It's me. like the reverse hair amount. Because then we wouldn't know whether we're talking about me or not. I we think that's the point. called Doug. But I think we can agree Bob is probably the The resemblance best. is uncanny. Okay, oh, happy to introduce Doug. You brought that on yourself, <laughs> man. Is from Missouri. So Doug also, the Misery arsonist. joke I got from What's family members move? in Missouri. Does he have Missouri. a flamethrower or just like a box of matches? Is this the milking Because I feel string? like a normal guy. No, I feel like a normal <laughs> no, guy. No, I don't know. He's kind of milking this one. Flamethrower. He has a Bic lighter. 
Number two. Oh, yeah, a lot of people are brand. saying depression. That's not really a move. You don't Doug do depression. I guess it's no different than polio, but tax fraud. How would that help? <laughs> yeah, that's Missouri, all right. Weed. Okay. Yeah, that's more Colorado. Weed. Doug is such a chill dude. Really? <laughs> he does not uh, look Missouri? chill. What is his third? Not the move? one they're known for, but depression. I'm saying a lot of Now when I get more. Spill gasoline. I do like that. I mean, he is an arsonist. Punch. Hold on. That's very like fantasy esque. So you're saying his move should be having a big lighter, growing weed, and flame punch. And then he's just randomly an anime character with one of his moves. Sure. Yes. Somebody said beat up sixth graders. What? That's, That's not fair. We don't have Go sixth ahead, graders in Missouri. His third move is they ended fourth. Beat up sixth graders. However, technically, I'm just throwing all the shade him, today. You could set your hand on fighter with your big lighter and then punch somebody. Midlife crisis will be will be his personal. <laughs> uh, that, 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 yeah. Terrified of polio. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, divorce fits with this guy. Of course Tax they have a divorce character. Not really a personality. We'll say hates taxes. Alcoholic. We didn't really give him alcohol though. We'll just say I mean, I'm not saying that Missouri's close to the places where a lot of those uh, survivalists would go and hates taxes and doesn't want anyone to do anything and maybe does some things with arson to get off the uh, land, but I mean, that's more I'd hope. Still, it's close enough. Addicted to stuff. Has a criminal record. Yeah. I, I mean, know. with a phase yeah, like I that, I mean, Doug, it'd be weird if he didn't. Guy from Missouri. I wish this Doug was streaming. Oh now that we have God. our three characters, we need to create a map of the Why? world. This is going to decide where the campaign starts and where the campaign ends and all of the locations that they could visit along the way. This is the kingdom of oh, blank. No. Our three adventurers, Start with Pringles, the campfire. Egg, and Doug, are going to travel through blank, 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 blank and blank to go to the castle to save the king from oh my god we have an animate object a talking animal and just some random hobo we have literally achieved fairy tale status in this beginning of the story i'm looking at you momotaro this is a direct call out so yeah we're right there blank and they'll have to blank along the way if they want to blank so here's what i'm thinking why does do that sound so bad paths, and then there'll be new spots so you can like decide where to go at each fork right and what we need to the decide joke is, is it's the same thing either way you just don't know it locations that you can travel between the first question is though what is happening to the king what is the goal king has polio what okay he needs some weed the king needs weed i think we need or i think we know exactly which one's going to win here they got the bear. He doesn't have weed, but he has something even stronger. Polio. For his wedding. Save Queen Rosa. She was kidnapped. Rescue Rosa. The king is trying Fire to nuke. nuke a dragon. <laughs> he needs milk. The king is trying to take a nap. That's not like a really compelling story. Ideally, there's a reason. Like, there's a thing you're trying to go do. King is stuck on his throne, and he needs help. King got stuck on the throne. Six. Six squares are invading the castle. Honestly, I kind of want this one to win. Although, being stuck on the throne, I'm just throwing it out there. That has a lot of meanings, and all of them are horrible, and I love it. Craters are trying to nuke That's the a shit castle. joke, and I don't ever do that. All right, what is the Please goal the of our graders. story? Please be the sixth graders. Are going to yes! The sixth graders trying to nuke they have the made castle. the right choice. Now that we know how the story ends, we need to fill out what are all the spaces between. I just realized we now have a story where it's of an inanimate object a bear and a homeless dude who are going to go beat up sixth graders. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wow. This is, <sighs> this is insane. And also it sounds like something you would get if you typed in the word Florida, man. Maybe not the bear part. You know, I kind of want to later double check what Missouri man would bring up because at this point, for all I know, this has happened. As you travel across the land of... Dagestan? Canada. As you travel across the land of Canada... I mean, Doug it's a bear. It looks like they're cooking bacon. To, I'm not so sure about the homeless dude part. locations that you might come across on your way there. Maple Syrup River. Okay, I can Yeah. Find. We'd have just a typical tavern. X-Queen's Tavern. Sure. An old tiny schoolhouse with sixth graders. Yeah, it's going to be empty because they're all invading. Yeah. Otter pirates. Sure. Add fantasy pirates. Crystal meth mines. So it told... I mean, isn't meth and crystal meth the same thing? I mean, it's a variation, I think, but what's the big deal? More importantly, the mines, the tavern, I just... Oh, my God. Bridge is good. Okay, there's a geese volcano. And now the... A geese volcano? 
I need to clarify. Is, is this a volcano in the shape of geese or geese spewing out of a volcano like lava? Because honestly, flaming geese sounds terrifying. Also, there's a joke in there about fantasy Quebec. Because obviously, Quebec's a fantasy. There's no Quebec. It's not like it's real. Uh, but I also realize that's getting into something that I definitely don't want to talk about because that's probably something that has started fights before in the past. That our map is completed, uh. we are ready to begin the adventure. So, I selected three random Twitch chatters to play the role of each character, and we headed out on the road. Welcome to the adventure of Canada. A missive has just arrived for our noble heroes. Who I need to put on here? The king is Beating up sixth graders. Hear. There's sixth graders with nukes at the blurry castle. Oh, nuke sixth graders. Help. Eager to save the king, the three heroes set out on an adventure across the lands of fantasy Canada to save the beloved blurry king. Adventures, where would you like to head oh. Oh, first, no. the ex-queen's tavern or the rickety bridge. If we go the to the tavern. tavern, I can grow and sell weed. Why would they Yeah. Yeah. Also, is there ever a choice that doesn't involve starting your adventure at a tavern? In fact, it would be wrong if they didn't choose that. I mean, I'm just going to get out there. I'm not saying I've done it, but there's a right answer on this one. Well, you sell weed in the tavern. <laughs> the tavern You've might said be it already. a good place to judge their food. After all, my quest is to prove I am the best chef ever. True. The best that ever was? That's for the Queen's Tavern. That means we're heading over there. I just realized that... Tavern! <laughs> I think we know which one we're doing. Okay, the party is officially traveling to the ex-Queen's Tavern. Chat, this is the Queen's Tavern. What is going to be the activity happening in the tavern? Okay, they're... I'm kind of surprised no one has made a joke yet about the wrong kind of queen, but I don't think Freddie Mercury would fit the aesthetic he's going for. it be a bar fight? If there's a bar fight, I can join and beat up a sixth grader. <laughs> I guess it depends who's fighting in the bar oh fight. Oh my God. There's a cook-off happening, drinking competition. Queen is getting <laughs> remarried? Very oh. Night. Illegal bear fighting ring. D yes! Do it! Do it! Okay, it looks like there's gonna be a bear fight yes! happening in the As opposed tavern. to a legal bear that's, fighting that's, ring. That's my queen. Let me draw up the tavern real quick. Guys, this looks fucking awful. <laughs> ah, yes, we have a bear and the meth bear. We have a cocaine bear, now we have a meth bear. We need to find out which one is going to do more damage. Oh, yeah, this video is definitely YouTube restricted. <laughs> this is so bad. God. Please give a warm welcome to Queen... What is her name? Mercury. No, Rosa's an otter. Not everything is Rosa. Rosalyn. Yes, okay, Queen Rosalind. Rosalind! And now I need, like, a goblin. Because if I make a goblin, I can just reuse it. Why? <laughs> now we've got a goblin. Eh, it's not okay, the worst adventures. goblin. You enter into the Queen's Tavern, a famous establishment. Inside, you notice a bunch of patrons sitting around at tables. You see Queen Rosaline standing behind the bar. But in the center of that the bar art. are two bears fighting in what is clearly an illegal fighting bear ring. You hear the patrons screaming and chanting, D Bear fight! Bear fight! What do you do? Chime. Phase one, my plan is to grow weed. Okay, we're like, where? <laughs> you see the bears fighting each other. Are there any plant pots around? I just realized he's saying it's a bear fight and he's just making dog noises. Oh my god. To be fair, if you make an actual bear noise, you would destroy your throat because that is terrifying as shit, man. For sure, yeah. You notice that next to the fireplace, there are a couple of pots. He's gonna break like them. Dirt in them. I take one and huddle over it, starting to. Oh, he weed. didn't break it. Okay, Doug <laughs> moves to the pots of dirt in the corner. Must save the bears. He starts planting so weed must in run the pots. To the fire and make popcorn. The noise and smells will cause a distraction. Oh Pringle, no. the frying pan, runs over to the fireplace stove and starts throwing popcorn kernels inside of it. Egg brick cage. Egg, meanwhile, tries to break into the bear pit as you do this a three-way even screams out no what are you doing i have so much money riding on this bear fight let's see if you can break into it you are a strong bear so oh, let's say you need oh, no no 12 or what? above and you break in row row no no 17 Ooh, high the bear burst in and right as the bears were starting fighting what do you say bear run in you yell Runyon? Runyon, but the bears don't appear to be very smart, so they're just staring at you like bears. In the meantime, let's see if your weed is growing. 15 oh or above, God. and the weed starts... 20, 20, 20, 20, 20! Fuck! It doesn't look like it's getting enough sunlight. Let's see if the popcorn Who'd is Who'd have succeeding. thought making something indoor wouldn't do it? 20! The popcorn starts... Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that 20 on popcorn. Bursting so in 
intensely and so violently. Can I throw some of the popcorn outside the door and have the bears follow? Yes, your popcorn burst. Are they out stealing of the, the bears? It's absolutely massive, and you start hurling bear popcorn army. towards the Bear door. army. Bear army. Do a bear army. Bears who are just staring at egg. See the food. They look malnourished. M using the gap in the bear cage. They both run out the door. Queen Roseless screams out. No, I take my some bears. of the popcorn in hopes of selling it later. <laughs> okay, Doug. We'd bear fail, but now Queen popcorn's Roseland on the menu. Tries to run after you guys to get her bears back. Do you do anything in the meantime? Attack. Do cocaine. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have achieved bear. cocaine bear. So three or above and you do coke. <laughs> Okay. Never mind, we have abstinence bear. Not what I was expecting on this one. You drop the <laughs> egg drops his cocaine on the floor. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I'm going to beat up a sixth grader by throwing them at Queen Rosalind. Okay. Okay. Oh. Meanwhile, Doug goes and grabs one of these goblins who seems to be pretty Average young. Sixth looks grader. like he's in a sixth grade probably. Grabs him and then attempts Nothing to different throw there than the normal. goblin at the queen. Does it work? 20, 16 20, or above. 20. Oh, Fuck. only an 11. Instead, you just throw the goblin under the Need to the get another sixth grader. worst class I've ever been to. Can cover the floor with popcorn butter to make the queen slip? You used most Damn. of the butter Does up the here. sixth grader land in the cocaine? <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. God. Sixth grader directly onto the cocaine pile. And you see in him the bear ring. it accidentally. You don't have much butter left because you used it in the thing. But if you get a 16 or above. 20 again. Oh, nope. Shit. Not only do it's you a not crit manage fail. to throw butter on the floor, you accidentally spill some into this bear's eyes. And now he's running around. Now you have an angry bear. An angry, though. hungry the bear. The goblin gets up, and he is... Oh, no. Really, really fucking high. He's so hyped <laughs> up and so angry at Rosalind for dragging him out of his classroom into this bear fight that he tries to attack Queen Rosalind. Average sixth grader. 17 or above, and he hits. 17! The goblin lunges on top of Rosalind and starts pulling at her hair, and she screams, No! She my beautiful up. hair! Meanwhile, one bear has escaped, the other is confused because he has butter in his eyeballs. <laughs> oh queen Rosalind God. is distracted by the goblin. Lunge at queen I'm going o. to use my big lighter to set the queen on fire. Whoa! Okay. Egg the bear lunges on top of the queen, helps pin her down while Doug rolls up with his Missouri Bic lighter. <laughs> Doug pushes the Bic lighter over Queen Rosalind. What? Nine or above. You'll manage to succeed. Oh my god. 15! And oh, I just need a second. This is so absurd. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, I love what he does, DD. It is ridiculous in all the insane ways i expected <laughs> just everything about this man uh including the canonically accurate sixth grader there's nothing different than here than anything in reality it's all the same i know what i said i stand by it suddenly boom a giant fire oh shit sets ablaze crackling and booming look at the cgi look at the effects and my god as the evil queen Rosalind transformers 2 would look at this and think so shit moves evil. by comparison and the fire slowly fades away leaving by we have found the queen's ultimate weakness being lit on fire truly it's something only evil people and anyone else who's combustible will be weak to behind just like a really flat queen she deflated? You guys have managed to defeat the small business owner. <laughs> and you got some sixth grader really high. <laughs> Does she have any money on her? Okay, Doug oh, it kind of burned up. Queen Rosalind's evil entrepreneurial body for uh, treasure. Here's what we're going to do. I Are want there other Rosalinds? suggestions for treasure. A gun. I mean, that feels a bit <laughs> on the nose, but... A fork of true striking. I mean, okay, fork of lifting. <laughs> you can lift oh people up with the fork. $50. If they choose the fork, we know every single joke will be, Hey, I want to fork this person. It would actually be funny if it was the frying pan that did that. If it's the Missouri guy, that gets a little too on the uh, watch listy side. <laughs> hairspray? Why would you want? Oh, because it's her. Okay, hairspray. And yeah, that the makes sense. And the fourth option is the friends we made along the way. Hairspray which is... for. Uh, I'll be honest. I kind of want four to win because they could take Bear Army and make it an actual thing. Even if it's nothing, they can definitely roll and maybe convince him through sheer annoyance that the friends we had along the way is we now take all the bears. Bear army, man. Flemish. Can, can I find nothing. the building ownership paperwork to add the tavern to my new food empire? Yeah, that's good. Deep in the tavern. Okay, there are five potential treasures that you could win. Oh, Based is this random? This die roll, we will determine what you find inside Queen Rosalind's pockets. It is... Oh... <gasps> The friends we made along the way. That's 16. the real treasure here. Bear, 
Bears. Yeah, the Bears return and they live happily ever after. All right, anything else you guys want to do before you leave? I'm taking the cocaine goblin. He will be my go to attack. <laughs> uh, I'm also grabbing the weed I grew. Cocaine goblin is on They're your team now. Oh my god. They actually took the coke say, goblin. Hey, can you guys take me back to school? It's near the castle. And the adventurers head off, having made the world just a little bit better. Did off they? to Missouri. Okay, Goob is TTS. From now on, if you guys do TTS messages, you are representing Goob. The Oh no. Oh no. Doug, Doug, what have you done? And thank you for doing it. I've heard some of the messages he's, man. They are the most unhinged pieces of crap I've ever engaged with on the internet. And now they actually get to play a direct role. People are going to go broke on this stream just for the goblin. Cocaine goblin. The party chose oh, to adventure no. into either Jeez the maple syrup. syrup river or the cheese woods. What did they Ooh. decide? Cheese woods. I'm hungry. Cheese. Technically, we have four people now. Cheese woods. Okay. Well, now and they lost. Decided. And thus, the party advanced forward past the tavern and into they made the right choice. The cheese woods. Cheese always Let's wins. Find out what that means. Syrup and Question. Canada's little what are the <laughs> Okay. Rat infestation. Like, what are they doing? Thanks for saving me from that lady. I feel better than I have in years. Can you ask the bear to give me more of whatever <laughs> that was? Goob, you don't need more unless egg he needs more. more liches are turning people into cheese trees oh that's, that's the disturbing dark secret of the cheese forest rat mafia who demands cheese's payment to pass the that actually is kind of awesome and there's a rat mafia king stuck he's... in the melted cheese there's editor's a... note i think he's just making them up still making things up wait someone actually chose the name editor's note oh that is awesome that that was even available to choose so... nice which who's melting Unless that's the, the actual trees, editor just editing it in now, not from chat. Mafia are drowning in it. All right, looks like there's going to be a witch who's melting the trees. Time to do the best drawing of my so life. Does that make it the fun? The trees forest? are like melting cheese out like this. Okay, now I need a witch. We should let those sixth graders nuke the king and instead just watch a movie and do metric shit tons of cocaine. <laughs> what do you God. say, team? I mean, you can just leave the scenario. That's, if actually, you not want. a bad witch. That's not ethical, Goob. Let's do it. Hey, fuck oh, you, Pringle. God. You look like a limbless stick figure. Anyway, hi, Aggie. Look real cool if you give goob meth ouch scree goob it'll cook you next for you i add a little top hat wait what and a gun rats I with like top hats and so guns the party enters the cheese forest goob is what? immediately asking for more cocaine from egg the bear but yeah as you look out you see rats a... drowning in a giant pool of melted cheese it seems so he actually brought in the mafia rats they made an offer she couldn't refuse it shows she drowned them in cheese eh? it's the obvious trap I'm not saying I would fall for it, but if I saw a giant river of cheese, I may or may not fall into it willingly. It can't be helped. My wife would make the same choice. I don't think I could fault her for it. The cheese trees themselves are being melted, and you realize that the witch on the other side is cackling mysteriously with um, high graphical fidelity sparks coming out of her My hand. God. Team, what do you do? Give Goob go flirt with my brat. Egg the bear comes over to Goob rat. and gives him more cocaine. Doug and Pringle, Goob what are you doing? challenges the witch to a cocaine snorting contest. Oh, no. Whoever <laughs> does the most lines gets to decide Why? what to do. Why? Swap places with the witch and let Doug handle her? Oh, yeah, the swapping was Pringle one of the things they could do. Pringle steps up and uses their move. Scram in a big poof, Pringle appears on the other side of the cheese pool. Can and the she fry the cheese? Right here next to you. Right then, Goob walks up with his Good cocaine and says, Goob, I hope she kills you. Yo, <laughs> you want to do a coke contest? Let's see how convincing he Who's is. Who's got the Narcam? Oh, wait, that's something because else. Because she's terrified. 17 or above, oh and she's God. down. 17 or above, 17 above. Oh! She actually does look pretty tempted for a second. It says, you know what? You guys are total strangers, but maybe I'll consider it. What are you guys doing here? You see in the background that the rats are sinking farther into the cheese. And you hear a faint little squeaky noise. Hey, give me out of this Parmigiano Reggiano! With even like oh a, a muffled gunshot in the background. You know my rat reads. I will use the Bic lighter to try and set the witch on fire. For you the tried mafia. Water? I'm not clear why you guys are so yeah. pro-mafia, really, but... <laughs> There's a joke in there, but it's not really a joke. Doug runs up to the witch oh. and tries to use a big lighter on her. 16 or above, you light her on fire. Oh. 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 You pour the big lighter over her hat. It turns out the hat you is very, those? very flammable. Hold on. Cloth. I need to prepare more CGI. What? Is he actually taking away the screen? Just do it. Epic off camera scene. And oh, as God. he leans the big lighter towards her hat, it. you see a gigantic whoosh as she Boom. blows up in. Flames and stuff. And the oh eye wasn't God. colored in. Oh, wow. And the graphics.
Orcs are insane. The witch is like super flammable. Michael for some Bay, reason. eat your she heart out. Burning to the ground alive. She says, "I was just trying to help the rats." You guys didn't even ask me what was going on. I thought I was the chef, but, but you Doug is the one who's really cooking. Oh the my God. witch. Good thing we have Doug in the big lighter. In the meantime, you see the rats are slipping just a little bit farther into the cheese. Eat cheese, save my rats. Goob starts snorting the cheese. Okay, Egg and Goob both run up to the cheese. Goob starts snorting it. Egg is <laughs> roaring and eating. I reach my handle out to the rat boss to save him. Pringle reaches his handle. You can see, by the way, that I happen to draw this, that he just barely barely has the distance to reach out Aww. to the rat and the rat because one hand is holding a gun he's disadvantaged and he refuses to give up the gun i'm not giving up my gun the mafia needs the guns but he tries to no reach out leave the gun take ball. the cannoli or the panhandle will actually grab it oh it's gonna be a one isn't it seven the, the rat, rat dies he's slipping further in even the gun is starting to fall into the cheese he's not the gun i can't lose the gun eat harder these guys over here are eating extremely hard egg let's say you're eating towards this <laughs> oh, rat no. 16 or above and you'll make a path to him Nat 20 oh egg just absolutely blitzes through the cheese he i think at this point you need to make a new arc piece for the egg because this is not a skinny bear anymore we now have an egg shaped egg this bear isn't moving. He's just being rolled around by the cocaine goblin. Barges a path through it all the way to the rat and manages to pull him out of the cheese. You see his body rat. as you pull oh, him out. Oh, yeah, she did. You hear the main mafia rat yell out, If you don't save me soon, I'm going to shoot you in the head as my last action, Pringle. Can I use pansexual seduction on what? the saved rat to make him leave his comrades behind and stay in my hat? Uh... <laughs> okay. While the mafia rat is screaming, Help me, I'm almost a dead. Pringle walks Are we in Italian the rat, there for a second? What shout, the hell? Leave behind your mafia brethren. Join me in my hat. It's not a particularly compelling environment. Let's say 14 or above and you convince him. Honestly, it's that low. Not 20. Ooh. No rat head for you. Almost worked. He says, I, I want to join you, but let me at least make sure my boss is okay. And he leaps into the cheese and starts trying to swim towards the boss. This is somehow Goob's fault. Yes. He's running towards the mafia boss. 14 or above and he makes it 17 oh so he manages to swim and now he's stuck as well start pulling him out of the cheese he is delaying the inevitable of the mafia boss is still stuck can i try to grow wheat so i can use it to make a rope to throw to the mafia boss what the hell yeah, man I just let him fire starts trying to grow marijuana again let him cook it's just it's not like an ideal environment for it and you don't have a lot of time but if you get a 19 or above that 20 that 20 get that 20 come on well, well it, it has a nine in it. Yet. Turn into a chair I so I can try to, to pull get the mafia rats. boss with it. Seeing that the situation is dire, Egg the bear, who so They're far giving him the chair. one rat but couldn't quite get to the second, sees what he has to do. Becoming a chair was and actually he useful. Turns into a chair. <laughs> Meanwhile, the rat mafia boss says, "Why the fuck are you turning into a chair?" <laughs> the word "chair" is actually cut off because his mouth is starting to go into the cheese. Oh, no. What exactly are you doing with the chair, Doug? To hand one edge to the mafia boss. Okay, Doug moves forward <laughs> onto the path and then picks up the chair bear oh and holds God. out the chair towards the mafia boss. This is his last hope. Fight it, the you chair bear cares. Rat. Let me on the end of the chair. He'll reach in for him. Goob also runs onto the chair God, and tries to reach. Out. Hey, Goob, the third rat has some cocaine. Go help him. Oh, no. <laughs> Goob goes, oh, really? And starts trying to swim to this rat. Let's see <sighs> if the rat mafia boss grabs onto the chair successfully. 15 or above. And he grabs It's going to be a nat one, isn't it? It's a nat one. Five. And you he did. As the mafia rat leader's head slowly is submerged underneath the cheese. And you hear him yelling, fuck are you? and muffled gunshots Can we leave Goob with him? as he fires <laughs> his pistol pointlessly into the cheese. The last rat, though, still sinking. Demise. Goob is attempting to run over, but Goob is trying to swim through the cheese, 15 or above, and he does it successfully. Does he have the ability cocaine strength? Because at this point, fuck reality, do drugs. God, this is horrible. Seven. Nope. Goob is now drowning. Now Goob is dying. And he yells this is why you don't do drugs, kids. Kind. Meanwhile, the last rat is like, oh shit, my boss. What the fuck do I do now? Use chair powers. Egg uses the chair, chair powers, powers, which is to Ball be a over. chair.
Lame. Guys, what the hell? Stop trying to replace me and get me out of here. Can't you make a Has the weed shit? grown yet? If you get a 19 or above, the weed is grown. <laughs> oh my god. Please be a 20. Please be a 20. Please be a 20. Fuck. No. Goob is screaming angrily. I turned the entire river into a giant cheese shit. ball with my move, let him cook. Okay. Oh my uh, god. Pringle says, Does that mean they're I'll cooking rats in it? If you'll join us. And, and Goblin? uses the let him cook move, which apparently, because we didn't establish this, turns the entire river into a cheese ball. You see it suddenly solidify into a huge... Pringle, why didn't you do this earlier? Puffy mass. That's my frying pan. Unfortunately, because you did this while they were... Goop to drown first. Inside <laughs> oh. the cheese river. I, I don't think this is accidental. I think they were waiting for the goblin to be stuck in there as well. They are now permanently encased inside this giant cheese puff. And you see that Goob starts screaming. Why is this river it's so Just hard? Just as planned. And now, do you pitch yeah. anything? Can I hit Goob with the chair? Do Goob more coke. <laughs> okay. Doug walks with the chair and proceeds beat to sixth beat grader. the shit out of Goob. Terrible. Why? Doug eat them out of the cheese ball, Goob. Okay. You're just beating him. He Pretty accidentally free him. Eat Goob out. Be a bear, give Goob coke. Okay. The chair poofs, poofs out of existence. And suddenly, Egg the Bear reappears, who proceeds to run down and grab this cocaine. It says, here, Goob. And Why? Goob eat Goob out. Well, don't say it like that. <laughs> Goob, is it enough of this shit and... I am five years old. I am five years old and I should know better, but I'm still doing it. Oh my god. Decides to try and reach the lighter that Doug left on the ground and light the cheese oils that have risen to the top of the cheese to burn everyone to death. Okay, that's kind of fucked up and dark. But yeah! He's right next to him with the Bic lighter. And my go god, this is revenge are, trying to bake him. Lighter and attempts to set or, the cheese oh, again, on he's already fire. twice baked. This is a terrible idea, but he's high on cocaine, so he's <laughs> gonna do it anyways. Metal, so this won't kill me anyway. Checkmate, Goopy little shit. <laughs> well, we're above, and it succeeds. <laughs> do they just happen to kill each other before they even make it to the boss? Goob says, I'll take y'all down with me! And this rat who's still here is like, wait, why? And suddenly, <laughs> a giant fireball erupts! The cheese oil spreads rapidly and rat the entire thing is on fire before this shit kills us all okay Pringle well, everyone with the fire man lead at the rat the rat is now very convinced six or above and he joins not Run. one Eleven. Oh. Rat says, yeah, okay, and jumps into your head. Gets the fuck out of there. Egg the bear also tries to I run away from I the fire. Good harder. Egg starts trying to run as the fire is spreading. Eleven or above, and you make it out. Not one. Yes, you are my new sous chef, Ooh. Radagooby. Egg runs out. One, two. Doug tries to run as well. Eleven or above. What's it going to be? 16. Oh, we actually Doug make it out. To escape, and you hear in the background, very, very faintly, as the three party members run off with a new party member, I guess, because of the rat. Does anybody have more cocaine? <laughs> oh my god. Fuck this is go. why you don't give goblins the drugs. Successfully they start blowing everything up. The horrors of the cheese forest. Oh no, my half grown weed. Oh yeah, I guess it'll burn. I miss Goob. <laughs> How do you oh miss him? They were the ones who killed him. Quick, noble adventurers. Move on. Noble. East towards the otter pirates or up to the volcano geese nest. Hey. There is a smart option and then there's the geese option. Which one do you pick? Hey gang, I hear volcanic geese taste delicious. We should try and cook Mine them. Actually. Interesting. Fair Z Donners, probably. That volcano probably. would be sweet to blaze some weed in. <laughs> oh okay. my god. It looks like we're heading to the volcano geese nest. Thought they go for the pirates, but no, they're going for geese. Okay. I will say, Truly. let's roll a nat 20. Most dangerous enemy. Escape. If it's 20, then somehow he lives. Aww. Okay. Oh, sorry, Goob. And the party headed north to the Goob dead. East nest. Well, our Twitch chat has managed to burn a woman to death, <laughs> hurt a bear, introduce coke to a child, burned an innocent, and now burned a child and rat to death. What Actually, a good party. <laughs> burned yeah. two women to death. Okay. We have oh, yeah, a the queen. volcano scene. What should happen in it? The geese are committing a human sacrifice. That's so aggressive. That's just normal. Okay. Volcano is filled with Can I drink incredibly lava? hot sauce. Oh, I mean, the once, yeah. Eat a family of coke gremlins. <laughs> With, with, is everybody on coke in fantasy Canada? Yes. Canadian geese sacrificing Canadians. <laughs> fantasy Canadians. There's a cook-off. I'm worried if we do a cook-off between the geese, you guys are just going to set everybody on fire and geese? leave. I mean, they're going to do that regardless. They're trying to sacrifice humans for a salsa dinner. Okay, geese are just standard geese. There's not even a crazy part. Flavor. Hi, geese feeding their munches on the hot salsa. Oh, not everybody needs to be high. You can get them high. Geese in the I mean, they're right next to the meth mine. So, I mean, how else do you get that?
middle of a drug deal. I just feel like it's just been drugs and mafia. Geese are having fifth grade graduation ceremony at the volcano. They're becoming sixth <laughs> graders. The goblins in fifth and sixth grade. All right, looks like the geese are going to be sacrificing goblins into the volcano salsa. To, to add, add flavor. That's good because I already have the goblins drawn. I think it should be a Canadian goose, Doug. This could be a goose. A Canadian goose, probably. That's Guys, a goose? Yeah, it looks about right. sucks. I hate this. Honestly, it kind of looks like a pigeon, but let's go with it. This guy. The party, after traveling for days, approaches the, the gigantic volcano. And as they emerge, still better than a goose hydra. And look down it's a thing. The There's a statue for it, and I hate everything about it. To see a bunch of goblins drowning Not in sixth what graders. appears to be a gigantic pool of salsa. Ah! Meanwhile, three more goblins are being pushed off the edge of like a diving board thing oh, by God, three gigantic giant Canadian geese. Canadian geese. Hey, 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 hey. Why are they only saying hey? This is maybe high also. Okay, yeah, pretty accurate. Immediately, the rat jumps sampling. into your hat and says, I'm scared, protect me, Pringle. I'll keep you safe, little buddy. Oh, Team, what do you want to do? I tell the goose Baba Ziwa. Okay, what? you go up to the edge of the crater. Bellow out with your loudest bear voice. Baba Ziwa! I'm assuming this is a meme they've done before. And unless you Why? get 20. Do it, do it, do it. Oh. Nothing happens. That doesn't mean anything. But the geese go like honk, honk, honk at you in return. <laughs> It's like a little honk. Geese dude. get ready to get cooked. The geese continue. I think this one's already pretty big. Pushing another goblin off into the salsa. Are the goblins dying or just marinating? I guess you could ask them. Oh, okay. All right. According to Twitch chat, they're marinating to death. D. And you hear one God. of the goblins go like, ah, oh, this is, this is pretty good. Ah. D. I'm and then delicious. You hear one of the geese honk out, honk, honk. You guys want to stay for dinner? We're making goblin salsa. Fuck these guys. Admittedly, this doesn't sound like a bad deal. I'm kind of surprised they're not into it. D. Goblin salsa sounds delicious, actually. Kinda does. Hey, Pringles interested. The geese yell. The flavor's immaculate. The flavor's incredible. You've got to try it. Do the geese it. appear to be in the sixth grade? Doug yells out across the crater. Hey, are these goblins in sixth grade? They shout back. Yeah, we grabbed them at the fifth grade graduation. Oh Jack my God, he's bringing it all grade. in. Pour cocaine into the salsa. Let the goblins take it from there. Oh no. Do that. Oh and no. The to the side and oh no. Cocaine out on the goblin who starts sniffing it. Honestly, throw the goblins all in. I'll add some random vegetation I found into the mix. What kind of weeds would happen to grow around here? I don't know. If only someone was doing that. Pringle moves up to the side and tosses some fresh herbs and spices into the salsa. And you hear from across the crater. Uh, hey, is that rosemary? That looks delicious. I just want to get the goblin crisp like they're cooking in a walk. Oh my Fire God. punching a goblin. Meanwhile, Doug runs over <laughs> they're just... and says, mm, delicious. So apparently they went to the geese volcano where they're sacrificing goblins and they're having a very relaxing cook-off. Okay, I did not expect it to go this way, but I'm kind of loving it. Delicious! Grabs a handful oh of the fiery hot salsa, and then uses his signature technique. Beat up sixth graders to start punching this goblin who's <laughs> Because they're the sixth graders so too, yeah. Farther and farther and farther and farther <laughs> and farther down in there. Until you can only oh see his little God. ears poking out of the top. This is looking delicious. Extra flavor. I I yeah. Yeah. Punching yeah. sixth graders is a great workout. Pringle yells back, <laughs> Yeah, it's rosemary and a little bit of cheese, Dale. And you hear the geese kind of shout back That's a thing? Oh, wow, that sounds delicious! Well, thank you! We're so glad we ran into you! And as they say that, Polite they start shoving the Truly unrealistic, man. Again. Another one gets pushed out into the salsa. Mmm! <laughs> At this point, it's just making dinner. Yummy. Oh, oh, wow, is that from the, uh, the cheese forest? That looks delicious! You guys are fantastic cooks! Everybody is just chair. Okay, Egg, meanwhile, does his classic move. <laughs> he just becomes a chair. Shout out. Just a few more minutes and the goblins will be ready! And dinner served! This one moves over here and is just, oh, is just starting to like lick its beak lips. I have been have informed of the have time staff by chat. Can I grab that if it's a thing? Oh, what? This is supposed to be improv. So back here, there is a gnarled staff. I want to be a bear again and use polio. Why? I grab the staff and use it to help mix the goblins in the salsa. You polio goblins. This is actually a pepper grinder. Free pepper. Ooh. Oh, this is perfect. Ham. I tell the goobs to play Marcio Polio. Winner lives. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. What happens when you use Marco Polio. What, um, what, <laughs> that what, is what so is that? horrible. Marco, <laughs> yes. can't move. 
Um, Egg uses his power oh my polio God. and says to the goblins, we're playing Marco Polio. First one to reply gets polio, I guess. <laughs> this one's busy doing cocaine, but this one just fell in. He's like, oh my God, what's happening? Wait, what do you mean, Marco Polio? And Egg says, congratulations, you win. And you win polio. polio to the goblin, who is immediately paralyzed and falls over into the salsa. Yeah. Meanwhile, the beasts say, dinner's almost ready and push the final goblin into the salsa. Marcio Polio was my favorite game as a child. Oh my God. Nice one, Egg. Yeah, Teddy and Roosevelt too. As the remaining goblins slip deliciously or was that theater roosevelt the just like mom used to make back in missouri these were supposed to be evil i made them look aggressive and you just sentient sacrifice drugs pepper and dill yeah sounds like standard missouri just teamed up with them to cook a bunch of goblins who at no point have been described as evil listen there's six graders friends, not food as the remaining goblins slide deliciously i think we've established they are the enemy into the salsa the Actually, we fly did. over and say it's been so long since we've had friends over Yum. for our famous mm -hmm. goblin salsa Let's yeah. dig in. After dinner, I ask if the geese can give us a ride to our next location. My legs are pretty tired. Is that Final Fantasy music in the background? That's nom, a good nom, point. Nom, eat, eat, eat. This is like Lord of the Rings when everybody was like, why didn't the eagles just fly them to the end? Oh my. You have a very good point. I mean, there is a reason. It's because he wanted to write a long story and the eagles would shortcut it. There is a foreword to one of the variations of his books that Tolkien wrote prior to his death. And that is actually the reason for the entire novel. He wanted to write a long fantasy story, and that was the reason. The in lore universe reason is they would be tempted by the ring, and Gandalf didn't want to deal with that more than he had to. The actual reason is it would cut the story short and thereby render his entire premise moot. So, yeah point i mean i wouldn't want to go the whole way they're going to be full of salsa but this has been going on for a while we can skip the spelling bee or do you just want to be dropped off? oh my god please tell me please tell me the geese have the attack flaming bird shit because they just ate all the goblin salsa the meth goblin salsa oh my god that is a war crime they've already done so much for us i'm like trying to railroad you guys to speed up the campaign and you're explicitly not using the hook just take I us to the spelling bee you. you're stuck in this with us Doug. <laughs> i literally yes yes he no is getting out of this early dog <laughs> whatever all right you yeah guys ask the geese how long did the stream actually go for for him have them take like, us to the otters i want a spell and they say oh yeah of course <laughs> you guys enjoy a delicious plate of salsa together it's even got that little bit of that cocaine flavor in it and then you head just out the together touch. flying over to the spelling bee congratulations oh you have defeated God. the volcano geese nest guys surprised they didn't skip to the end directly into the schoolhouse spelling bee contest i just realized we've already established that all the school children in this canada are goblins so there's gonna be more goblins do yep. sixth graders catch polio easily <laughs> don't oh ask that question in any context ever okay so yeah also the answer is yes oh wow this is such a horrible stream and i love every second about it it's a classroom full of goblin kids can i smuggle in some alphabet soup to help me spell sure. oh what's going on in the spelling bee they are spelling it's a cult that has a spelling bee for new members okay i like Greatest the vibe worship of that Dunk Dunk it necessarily intense a giant bee is yeah it's is the old-fashioned joke okay sure evil spelling bee D. make it a I joke it's actually a wasp evil bee i just wrote bee better burn it to death just to be safe Goblins I mean, be evil. It's kind of the same thing. The word be for no reason. The goblins are on fire. Also, the goblins are on fire. <laughs> if you vote for that, we can add it to whatever yes. else. So yes. Yes. That the goblins being on fire got enough votes to justify them being on fire. Yes. So the result is that a giant bee is making them spell. Is the bee like good? Evil bee. Evil, evil bee. Okay, I'm gonna make it really fucking terrifying then. So a normal bee. Uh. My God. I think I Look speak for everyone when I say, evil. ah. It ah. stares back. Remember, kids, if you win the spelling contest, you get to take a field trip to Salsa Mountain. Oh, yeah, graduation. <laughs> How does this start? Break down the door. Okay. It was a pleasant day at the Fantasy Canada Spelling Bee. Oh, my Just God. As the He's actually are about to start. Boom! The party burst into the front door. Missouri, fuck you. Yeah. I do cocaine. I do cocaine. Run! Ooh, the bear's finally doing it. Weed in here. And the evil bee turns to you and says, We're just in time for the spelling bee. Come oh, that's actually disturbing. Seat. Join us. What do you do? Challenge accepted. I turn into a chair. A cocaine <laughs> chair. Up, says, yeah, all right, I accept. And conveniently, Egg turns into a chair for him. And Doug sits on top of Egg. And the bee oh, says, Okay, great. Works. Happy to have you here. All right, class. The first word of the spelling bee is... B. 
Genocide. <laughs> oh my okay, god! Let's go ahead! H. Please! Out, uh, G! And the bee says, Oh, very good! This goblin says, It's an E! And the queen bee says, Oh, very good! And then, uh, Egg the chair shouts out, H! You see the bee's eyes turn a different color. My and god. You see the bee turn its eyes towards you! Oh no, he's high! And oh say, god. That's not how you spell genocide! And the bee commit. swings in for a sting, flying at Doug at full force! Twelve or above, and she hits! Oh, oh shucks. Five, oh. Doug manages to dodge out of the way by sitting stationary hey, on the chair, yeah. and the bee shoots past <laughs> and stabs this goblin with her I stinger. I jump off the chair. Dead. Doug jumps off the chair. This goblin is impaled by the bee accidentally and falls in a pool of blood. The bee is flying around for another attack. Standard Change six back class. Bear. Okay, Egg changes back to a bear. Poof, he's back. Why are the irises not red? Why is it the other part of the ID? I don't, I don't know, says the bee. <laughs> I'm not very good at art. Bear shield. Okay, Doug. He's Bravely actually better artist than I am by far. The bear as a shield. So scary. Throw the bear. So Throw the bear. the bear. I offer cocaine to the bee. <laughs> I think they already used it. Would you like cocaine? And the bee looks down at you. Oh my god. Sir, please don't fart. <sighs> and the bee says only if you can spell cocaine right nope. now. Nope. And she looks at you expectantly. C. Yes, that's correct. Um, C? Yes, that's the first letter. Oh. Yes, that's correct. They're actually trying and yes. they don't know it. C. Yes. C. C. Yes. C. Correct. I look at my pan full of alphabetical. Oh C. no. A. Yes. A. That's correct. C. O. C. A. C. Where? I. I. That's correct. C. O. C. A. I. She moves in. N. N. Yes. C is in there somewhere. One more letter. E. Q. E. That was correct. I'm oh, so kind of surprised I actually got it right. You guys win the spelling bee. And all the goblins start clapping and cheering. Why is the dead Yay! one? You're the smartest students I've ever had. The <laughs> goblins start. Oh my god, what is this? Like, legitimately, this is insane. Coming over and patting you guys on the back and congratulating you. Wow, we've never had to spell that before. Do we get a medal? You get one of these random prizes. What are oh potential no, prizes? Oh no, get more of them. The goblins. <laughs> it's gonna be friends <laughs> along the way again. The bee's gonna give you your prize first. Honey. Okay, honey. That's good for a spelling bee. Okay, okay. her hat. Some people are saying already have dead that. goblins. I don't know the why that would be the prize. How about just all of the children? Of course. The nuclear launch codes. Okay. That escalated. Depending on what you roll, you get a 20, random treasure. 20, 20, 3. Okay. And congratulations for winning the spelling bee. You win honey. And passes over a gigantic bowl of honey. And the goblins honey all say, time. Oh, that was going to be our dinner. Not right? anymore. We you didn't spell. We eat this month. <laughs> I hear honey goes great with cocaine. The goblins kind of look at you, Egg, and they're like, hey, can we have some of that, Mr. Nope. Bear? No! <laughs> <laughs> kind of surprised you didn't say barf. Sad go, or barf. Bite? Go back to their desk. Barf and bite. You guys have completed my spelling bee roll. Any words, Any final done. actions in the classroom before you head out? <laughs> Throw chairs at them. Meanwhile, Doug goes and picks up a table, holds it above his head, and then throws it at the goblins who run away. I just want to point out, considering what this guy's picture he was based on looked like, this is probably someone who threw chairs at sixth graders before. It's probably happened. Screaming! Ah! I just need to curry, or, and the spelling curry. bee says, Google well, you know, Missouri you're man right. after this. You did win the spelling bee, and the party heads off to their next destination. Imagine you're in class and a group of strangers break the door down, does copious amounts of cocaine while screaming, fights the teacher, steals your lunch, throws a table at you, then runs out shouting something about nukes and the king. And that is. It's probably standard Missouri, or Florida. Actually, for Florida, it wouldn't even be worth mentioning. It's just a standard day then. It's a perfect segue. It's an interesting day in Missouri. Leg of the Boring day in As Florida. As the party emerges, they travel the final way oh down the path God. towards the castle so they can help the king who's doing his nukes or something. Fire the 
nukes. Okay, we know that there's a castle and there's a king and that there's sixth graders trying to set off nukes. Is there anything else that we want to add into this picture or do I just start drawing? The king is oh, tied no. to the nuke. That's good. The sixth graders want equal rights for goblin. Never going to happen. Be doing it to get better grades. The only good <laughs> goblin is a dead yeah, yeah, goblin. We, credit. we need goob. Goob is dead. Ghost goob. Okay, sure. Ghost, we'll have goob. A ghost goob. The only goblins alive in fantasy Canada are children because their parents are in prison. Oh, that got dark. <laughs> Why are we so fucked? The goblins. Doug, what do you mean the king is strapped with the nuke? Or is he just strapping a nuke? <laughs> oh, I'm going to do a little shading. So the Tell nuke is, is strapped on him? That means something very different. <laughs> too fancy. My I like God. it. It looks good. It's too good. Wouldn't the shading be on this side, though, considering that's where the shadows fall? Eh, whatever. Fine, we won't have shading. Then I need a king to strap to him. Did we elect this guy? That's a good question. Is that oh, Santa? Wow. <laughs> it's not Santa. He, I mean... He looks a kind of looks little. like King Santa. <laughs> Santa. Wait, who leading the goblins? That's true. They do need like a leader. Of Ghost Gob. A seventh grader. <laughs> My God. There's a classic difference between being a seventh grader and a sixth grader. How do we distinguish him? Chest Five feet. Here. Long hair. Height. But like only a little bit, right? Okay, I'll stretch him a tiny bit and um. Okay. <laughs> Pimples. <laughs> truly threatening final boss. What would yeah. Ghost Gob be doing? Ghost Gob whispering into the seventh grader's ear to egg him on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ghost okay. Gob to the Treasure rescue. Back here. <laughs> Popcorn chest. Now it's full. Admittedly, the king actually looks pretty good. Like, well, it's bad, it's like consistently bad. As the adventures barge in through the open castle walls, the they're rat. met with a horrifying scene, like a dozen sixth grade God. goblins standing around the very king <laughs> of fantasy Canada. He's oddly happy. To a nuke. A hawk. And the king screams out, oh, adventures, please rescue me from this nuke. Don't let them destroy fantasy Canada. Meanwhile, not one fantasy goblin Canada. looks 5% taller than the rest. And his voice uh, crackles just a little bit. And he says, no, you goblins do that sound? want good grades. Do you know how many of us have been killed when we didn't spell methamphetamine correct? And the king, he says, why do this to Fantasy Canada? You've always loved us. And being put in they the were always high. And that's when you notice that there's a shadowy figure My next God. to the seventh grader. The iconic God, goob whispering into the seventh grader's ears, convincing him to do acts of horrific evil. Oh, fuck. Not this guy again. <laughs> Twitch chat, if you donate messages, that will be the king's messages from now on. Oh, Adventures, no. What do you do? Light the nuke and run. You hear the seventh grader? Um, that might not work. We'll do it. We'll launch the nuke. Not if we do first. We finish the sentence. Doug starts running forward, holding his Bic lighter. Doug, no. <laughs> Doug, yes. Says, Holy fuck. No, no, no. Hold on. Doug Doug this, fire. this is a bluff. We weren't actually going to set it off. <laughs> and he tries to stop you. But you're running at full speed. He needs to roll a 14 or above. Oh, my you. God. Let's go. Doug runs past the Boom. goblins and sets the big lighter right at the base of the nuke. Oh, this is one way to end it fast. Staff at Doug and fire. As Doug is leaning forward, PvP engaged. With the time staff, an attempt to stop this madness, reaches out with the time staff, and some delicious pepper comes out onto the bottom. Oh yeah, he's just a pepper just grinder. the floor a little bit. Meanwhile, Doug leans forward with the big lighter. Well, season, yeah. Fourteen or above, we'll launch the nuke. Sneezes. Do it. Do it. <laughs> They launch the nuke. Run forward. You hear the the flame ignites and suddenly boom! A massive explosion erupts from underneath the rocket and you hear the king. <laughs> oh, yell, dear god. Wait a second. Is that guy from Missouri? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, begin, that was good timing. Shoot off into the atmosphere! Any words as this is happening? I hereby decree that all big lighters are now illegal. The king shouts out, No! no! Screw the man! I attempt to rewind time on the nuke. Pringles attempts to grab the time staff and rewind the time. And that just sprays more delicious pepper onto the ground. Hashtag yeah. not my dog. Back <laughs> in the other world, everybody runs screaming. Pog, pog. All the goblins are running for their lives. The seventh grader yells, We just wanted good grades! And you Too look bad. up into the sky. Certainly the nuke won't land. Certainly the nuke malfunctioned. You wait for just a moment until you see the king on his rocket slowly shooting down towards Earth. I do cocaine to try I and never run the back to the castle. I have to scramble on the king. Wait, why? Scramble on the king? to the castle hoping it'll help him. Goob looks at you, Egg, and he says, Can I have a little cocaine? Cocaine before we die. <laughs> still Save doing him. it. Pringle cast scramble, and for some reason, hey, race a bump, bro. Swaps himself with the king. Not and Pringle. On the Water. ground next to his subjects. Pringle now strapped to the new. What? Watching it careen towards the earth. Throw it in the volcano. It'll give the king some cocaine to run faster as well. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Egg goes and gives a bunch of uh, cocaine to Goob and the king. Um. I use my pansexuality on the new. What? Pringle the frying pan. Technically that fits, but. 
attempts to seduce it. The goblins are all screaming in the background. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. So they are now trying to seduce a nuke with a frying pan. You know, actually, this makes perfect sense. Two inanimate objects seen together. This is not the weirdest thing I could have expected. But on the other hand, it's also so freaking insane. Also, I paused at the best time ever. The king and goob and egg are just doing cocaine. Doug's hiding in the castle. This is He's so weird. I love you nuclear energy weaponized into an explosive device. I've always loved you. Okay. It's now, pretty this odd. This is a nuke and not a living creature. But just I mean, maybe so is the frying pan. 13 or above. Oh my god, he gets, gets the seed. Do it. Not 20. Not 20. Not 20. Unfortunately, the cold, calculating eyes of the nuke do not look back at you because it is an inanimate object. And like the frying pan. And the king and egg nuke, please. Do one last line. <laughs> we are so poor. Oh, yes. The nuke crashes into the cheese woods. Not where, the by cheese. The way, Goob is still laying. And explodes in a I massive fireball. I seventh grader. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Before that happens, Pringle uses scramble one more time. Swaps out. And the seventh grader swaps places on to the nuke and oh screams, wait, God. what the fuck? As the rocket Boom. goes down and boom, explodes over everything. Fantasy Canada is saved. Congratulations, Doug. We well, did it. it. We did it. We have destroyed the, the world. Wait, what? Fade away. You realize that, sadly, the frying pan and the goblins and the king and the bear have all perished in the nuclear explosion. But... Turns out Doug made it out alive. Doug was safe from the castle. <laughs> My the God, he actually... Let's go, Doug! And that means Doug is the Missouri. new king of fantasy Canada and gets to enjoy all the popcorn to himself. Let's go, Doug! Why? Playing you, Doug, with all Let's my go, victory! Y'all are dead like go. the end of this bag. Good job, Doug. And literally nobody except Doug lived happily. Is he actually took shelter? After. Oh, seven Pringle, you will be missed. I curse you. No, I'm gonna set all of Canada on king. fire. My uh, God. And thus, did. Doug made his way to the center of fantasy Canada and set the entire thing on fire. The end. Oh, 07. And that, oh, seven. dear viewer, is the beautiful story of how a magical what flying man, fuck? a bear on cocaine, and old man Doug traveled across all of Canada and blew it up with a nuke. <laughs> what? Merry Christmas, everybody. So that was an experience that we all just had, and it went about as well as I thought it would. They ate goblin soup with a bunch of geese who weren't trying to eat them, unlike normal geese, which would definitely try. So that was completely suspension of disbelief breaking right there. The random guy from Missouri who looks like he's uh, definitely done things that involve the phrase, you have to use the potato peeler on them. They can scream louder. <laughs> Has definitely never done that, but we all know they have. That guy survived by running to the castle and also random bear from a movie and the pan <laughs> didn't succeed in seducing anyone, which is a little surprising because... With all the puns in there, I honestly expected they get that 20 on that one. Because that's exactly how reality works. I, this, just, wow. I knew this would be insane going forward. Doug Doug was trying to railroad them, and they decided, hey, do you want to be really funny? Being even more insane than anyone could expect. And they were! Because, wow, that, that went full insurance fraud at the end when the guy from Missouri lit everything on fire, and that, yeah, they played to type and they played it well. <sighs> Seriously, Doug Doug, what the hell, man? That was legitimately one of the most insane things I've ever seen. And I've seen your other videos where you brought AI in there that went full on rampant and those things were more sane. So if we found out one thing, it's that rampant AIs are still not as crazy as regular people on the internet. Or maybe just regular people on the internet who watch Doug Doug. It could go either way. One is more depressing than the other, but I'm not sure which one's which. Otherwise, you guys know, dealers. Link below to the original video. It's Doug Doug. It's good. It probably puts you on a watch list. Do it. Get on a watch list. Let people know that you love Cocaine Bear. God, YouTube is going to restrict this video so hard. <laughs> either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.